Hi, welcome to the part one of building features section. This is the wireframe of features section. It has a heading of features and under that there is a paragraph and then feature list is divided into three columns. On the left side there is a feature list with icons and with little description and in the, in the middle there is an iPhone image and on the right side we also have a feature list with icons and little description. This will be the final version of feature section. In the first video, in this video, I will be writing the HTML markup for the feature section and in the next video, I will be applying CSS to the feature section. Let us start adding HTML markup for the feature section. In the previous videos, we added the header part and the and the about us and the testimonial section. In this video, I will be writing the HTML markup for the feature section. It's six section with class of features and inside that we need our class of container from the bootstrap and inside that we will add a div class of row and let us write HTML markup for the heading and paragraph div with class of will occupy only 10 columns for the heading with one offset and let us add div with class of section title inside that we will have h2 for the feature heading and inside that we need some dummy content. Let us copy the dummy content from the content file and paste it here. Let us see the result in the browser. Okay, now we have a feature section with paragraph. So the feature heading is occupying the 10 columns with offset of 1. So it will center align the feature heading and paragraph. Okay, moving forward. Let us add some inner wrapper for features list. inner wrapper and inside that I will create a new container and inside that I need a row and this row will be divided into three equal columns like div with class column md dash 4 and inside that I will start adding the feature list item for the left side left feature item 0 1 and let us first okay let us add div for this 
left feature item and inside that we have icon will add font as as awesome icons but before that I have to wrap it left feature item icon insert inside that I will add I element with class of font awesome and I think with font awesome desktop we need a desktop screen icon okay moving forward let us add feature item title and description and h3 the first one is retina ready and let me add some paragraph some short description for this feature list and let me remove some express extra spaces let us see the result in the browser then we, we will move forward okay we have an icon from the font awesome and the heading and some little description okay let's add more features to the list i will copy this item 1 and will paste it for the item 2 and i think for second one we need font awesome mobile icon and the heading for this will be mobile ready and for the third one I think uh, we need uh, layout icon font awesome I and easy easy layout let us see the result in the browser okay now we have a feature list on the left side which is occupying the four columns and um, the first one is for retina ready with desktop screen and second one for the mobile and the third one is for easy layout let us add iphone image in the middle so we need to add div with class column md4 and inside that we need div class feature iphone this will be wrapper for this and inside that we need to add the image itself images and iphone 2 think this one we need let us see the result in the browser okay now we have the iphone image also there moving forward let us add the html markup for the right side feature list I will add more four columns with div class column ending dash four and inside that I need a wrapper of with right feature item this will be right side feature 
list and let us add a wrapper for icon these classes will help us to apply css to these elements so therefore it is good practice to think about it and add it at this stage font awesome font certificate i think we need this this one we need and uh, moving forward just add the title and description and this is i think h3 with certificate solution and i will copy the dummy text from here and add it here okay let us add some comments here like uh, right right feature item 01 and we can copy this div and paste it for the other two i think on the right side the second is the feedback rss and uh, title would be const constant feed and let me copy it for the third feature item and for the third it is database and the title would be secure data okay let us see the result for this in the browser okay everything looks fine at this stage we have added the HTML markup for the feature section and we have added the left side feature list and the right side feature list and in the middle we have added the iPhone as per the wireframing in the next video I will be adding CSS to the feature section this was the HTML markup I wrote in the previous video and this is the result without the CSS of feature section. So in this video I will be adding CSS to the style.css We'll start adding CSS to the inner wrapper. We'll copy it, paste it here. Let us add some white spacing of padding top of 30 pixel and padding bottom of 70 pixel. me refresh it it will add some white spacing around this you see this feature inner it has padding top of 30 pixel and padding bottom of 70 pixel okay moving forward let us add CSS to left feature item list copy it paste it here and let us say the position 
is relative and padding right is 90 pixel with margin bottom of 65 pixel and let us align the text to center let us not center right it should be right and margin top would be 35 pixel let us see the result for left feature item in the browser okay left feature item have a padding of right 90 pixel and with margin bottom 65 and text align is right and margin top is 35 okay moving forward inside that we have left feature item icon position should be absolute this position will be absolute and it will be relative to the left feature item to the parent element to the parent section or tag font size should be 40 pixel and the color for this should be 129 cf and i think it is 3 and uh, let us say the right of this should be 0 and top should be minus 8 pixel with width of 90 pixel and height of 90 pixel and the text align center let us see how it looks okay it looks fine do you see now it is also applied to another classes too so left feature icon has a position of absolute and it is absolute and relative to the left feature item so this positioning is absolute to the left feature item to the parent element and we have it position it to the right zero with top minus 8 pixel font size of 40 and with height and width and color and text align center so now it is applied to also the rest of the left feature item icons. So this is the advantage of adding classes to the element. Okay, moving forward on the left feature item, we have a heading and paragraph. Let us add CSS to these two elements too. Inside this, we have H3. Let us add the text transform of uppercase and font size should be 25 pixel with font weight of 700. Let us add some space at the margin bottom of 21 pixel and color of triple three and let us add uh, CSS to the paragraph there is a paragraph inside left feature item and the color for this should also be 
triple three and the font size I think it will be 16 pixel and with font weight of 300 would look good and with line height of 28 28 pixel okay looks very good okay let us add css to this image we have a feature i think iphone in the middle yes feature dash iphone class inside that we have an image tag we just need to add a width of 100 percent to the parent container it looks fine let us add css to the right side of feature list we have a right feature item same way we will make it position relative with padding left of 90 pixel padding bottom of 65 pixel and with some margin top of 35 pixel and let us add CSS to the right feature icons it should not be icons it should be icon 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 okay right feature icon position should be absolute like we applied on the left side of the feature list font size should be 40 pixel and the color should be the same 129 cf3 and the left I think the position left will be 0 and the top will be minus Eight with width and height of ninety pixel with height of ninety pixel and text a line should be center. now it is looking good it seems that there is a too much space between these paragraphs let us fix it margin bottom of 65 pixel I think we should reduce the line height of this paragraph and we also have a font weight invalid line height should be less than okay it should be 25 let me fix it quickly it should be 300 and it should be 25 okay let us add css to this paragraph right feature item p
but before that we have to apply CSS for the h3 text decoration should be not decoration transform should be uppercase and the font size should be 25 with font weight of I think 700 and margin bottom of 21 pixel and the color should be let me confirm if I have applied the same CSS text transform uppercase font size 25 font height weight 700 with color dead I think it is okay now pixel okay let us add CSS to the paragraph and it should be triple three and font size should be 16 pixel and font weight should be 300 with line height of I think we applied line height of 25 pixel it looks better let us see the result in the browser for the right side okay I think we need to fix it it doesn't look the same way let me see what is the difference left feature item padding right 90 margin bottom 65 text line center and margin top 35 right feature item position relative padding left 90 and it should be margin top and margin okay let us say this should be margin bottom and text align should be the left now it looks fine everything is aligned the rest of the thing looks fine let us say this is certified certified solution certified now it looks fine I think I am making the spelling mistake certified now it will be fine I wanted to bring it in a single line so therefore I use this heading so now everything looks fine we have a feature list on the left side with little description the heading and icon the corresponding icons and these are the font awesome icons you can check for these classes on the font awesome website and uh, in the middle we have iPhone image so I think everything is on place so at this stage we are done with the header with the about us with testimonials and feature sections so everything looks fine see you in next video thanks